hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm gonna show you how you can create your own online store after watching this video you will be able to sell your own products online or you can also sell other products via affiliate program so if you will watch this video from start to end if you will follow all the points that i am going to mention you will be able to create a website just like this you will create similar to this website without the knowledge of coding we will create this website by just drop and drag so if you do not have technical skins uh, then don't worry you can bu build this website without the knowledge of coding just follow all the points that i'm gonna mention so in this website we have a logo and a menu area then we have a slider area in which we will add an awesome image after that there are the popular categories and after categories we will add our feature products Here we can add our special product. I will also teach you how you can create a category of products. Let's suppose we will check this category. We will organize our products in category wise just like this. When we, when we will go for a product, we will add image description uh, and price for website. Your client will be able to purchase product online from your website. So you just have to follow all the points that I am going to mention. This is very easy. Just do not miss uh, the any part of video. I will show you how you can create this system containing the view card page, checkout, checkout page and all other required pages. Your client will be able to uh, submit an order on your website by filling their information. I will also teach you can update or how you can add your about us page, contact page in this website. Okay. Before start, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel by clicking on this uh, red button. Also click on bell icon so you remain updated. What do you need to start an online store? Anyone with a computer can get started within a matter of minutes and without knowledge of any special skills. The three things you need to start an online store are a domain name and a web hosting. For your understanding, a domain name will be the name of your website like facebook.com youtube.com similarly your business name.com will be the domain of your website while hosting will be a place from where we will upload our all files if you already have a domain and a hosting that will be fine just go to your account and find the cpanel details otherwise if you want to get a free domain and a free hosting just open this website webcan.com in your browser this is a website from where you will get a free domain and hosting. Just click on the free domain and free hosting link. Read all the details that they mention here. If you will follow all the given steps that they mention, you will get a free domain and a free hosting. You can also watch this video. They have explained all the steps uh, through which you will get a domain and a free web hosting for your e-commerce website. Okay, uh, we already have account with this website. Just click on the login button enter your user and password and just click on login button after login click on the services we have this service we have this free hosting service just click on this and from left hand side you can see the link of a login into cpanel just click on this okay here we have our cpanel from here we will manage our files and database You can also access to your cPanel by typing your domain name and after your domain just add cPanel just like this. Then enter your username and password. So after logging into cPanel we will check our domain is working or not. Just click on domain name from here while our domain is working. If you have default files here you can remove that files by uh, going into file manager. Click on public HTML 
and if you find any file from here uh, you just f remove that okay now go to uh, C panel scroll down and find the WordPress icon click on it click on install now button choose a domain from here on which you want to create your online store remove this subdirectory WP enter your site name and description here also enter user and strong password also enter your email address here and click on install button it may take few minutes to install wordpress now go to your domain and refresh the page here we have our wordpress website okay now we are going to log in into the wordpress uh, just type wp admin after your domain name enter here user and password this is the this is our wordpress dashboard now from here click on plugins add new plugin and from search bar search for astra astra click on install now button after installing just active this plugin now click here install and active related theme just refresh this page okay again go to dashboard from here from here click on see library then choose elementor and click on next button here click on free themes and uh, choose one of theme from here that you want to install we are going to install this one click on this okay here we have this theme this is very uh, awesome theme click on import site we are importing your website this process can take anywhere between 2 to 10 minutes depending on the depending on the size of the website and speed of connection you have to wait for a few minutes okay installation is complete and I just click on this button to view the website here we have our awesome website what we have done nothing and we have our complete e-commerce website okay now first of all go to dashboard from here you will be seeing a welcome to woocommerce notification on uh, your wordpress admin page go ahead and click on the run setup wizard button this will launch the woocommerce setup wizard where you need to click on the let's go button to get started now you will need to tell woocommerce where your store is located and which currency and unit measures to use next you will be asked to choose a payment method for your online store we are going to we are going to choose cash on delivery for now from here you can set up the shipping method how much you will charge to ship the products just skip this step this is not important one now i will show you how you can add a product in your website for that go to the dashboard and uh, click on products from here you can list you can see the list of all products that you have already added in your website you can remove these products or you can also edit these products here we will add the title or the name of the product here we will add the description of product and from this right sidebar we will add category let's suppose we are going to add a new category okay from here you can set the price of product you can also manage the inventory you can also manage the inventory from here uh, from here you can upload image of your products just like this 
when client will submit an order by adding the product into code and then check out all the orders will go to uh, under the WooCommerce so from dashboard click on the WooCommerce and uh, from here you will see the list of all orders that you will receive you can manage coupons and other settings from here just click on setting for now from here you can update the address of your store you can also manage products shipping payments you can manage everything from here i am going to show you how you can update your logo so just click on customize i'm going to open this in a new tab go to header click on site identity and from here you can update your logo just click here you can add your logo from library or you can also upload your logo from your personal computer just like this now i'm going to show you how you can uh, add it and update to do uh, to update this page just click on this button add it with elementor this is the editing mode of home page when you will move your mouse over the page you can see the editing part of the website you can update the any part of this page including text images and buttons let's suppose we are going to edit this uh, big image so just click on this click on styles and from here you can update this uh, background image you can upload from your personal pc or you can use from a library just scroll down and uh, for to edit this button just click here and from here you can add a link of your product or category you can also change the text You can also remove this button okay scroll down to update to update these logos just click on this you can also remove this this part by click here and if you want to update these logos just click here choose logo from here or upload from your uh, system okay scroll down these are the popular categories or feature categories that uh, we have added so you can add it uh, anyone that you want to add it just right click click on this and from here you can update image you can update the content and you can update the button text and link from here similarly uh, this is the part of feature products just click here click here we are going to change the number of products that will be shown here okay have a look Similarly, you can uh, set by yourself from here. You can also update these text and uh, buttons and images from here of your special products. Here you can add your special offer or special product. Okay, so this is the footer area. You can also update this one. This is very easy to use. After updating, just uh, click on the update button. Now I'm going to show you how you can uh, update your contact us or upload us button. To update this, just click on edit with Elementor. Just move your mouse and all the pod uh, is editable. You can update these tags and buttons very easily.